<clears throat> now we'll discuss about the movements of the thumb so uh, we know that abduction is a movement for example at the shoulder abduction is a movement in which the arm uh, is abducted is taken away from the midline so that is abduction and this is adduction uh, in the wrist uh, this is abduction and this is adduction adduction is uh, going towards the midline so generally abduction and adduction are actually occurring in the coronal plane so this is the coronal plane and if you compare with flexion and extension the flexion of the shoulder or flexion of the elbow flexion of the wrist flexion of the fingers are all occurring in a sagittal plane okay this is the general rule uh, but the thumb is an exception if you look at the thumb in the anatomical position when i place the thumb like this you can understand that the fingers are all uh, the pulp of the fingers are all facing forwards but if you look at the a uh, thumb the uh, the palm or surface of the thumb is actually facing medially so in the anatomical position itself you can know you can understand that the thumb's position is little bit unique when you consider with the other fingers due to this reason itself the movement of the thumb is also unique uh, for the thumb abduction is defined like this if this is the plane of the palm the thumb abduction is in such a way that the the thumb will be carried to a, a direction that is perpendicular to the plane of the palm this is the plane of the palm and now uh, the axis of the thumb is now located perpendicular orthogonal to the plane of the palm this is now abducted i can say that the thumb is now abducted now if i bring the thumb back that is called adduction so this is abduction this is adduction to make it clear let me say that this is abduction and this is adduction Uh, so if you look with the if you compare with the anatomical position the abduction and adduction are actually occurring in the sagittal plane uh, in contrast to the abduction and adduction that occurred in the shoulder or uh, in the hip everywhere it was occurring in the coronal plane if you look at extension and flexion extension is this movement if this is the thumb extension is this movement so it is occurring in the plane of the palm in the plane of the palm itself that means extension is a movement which is occurring in the coronal plane so in the coronal plane you have extension the reverse movement is flexion so let me just uh, compare and uh, let me just illustrate all the movements abduction adduction okay i will show in this direction also abduction adduction next is extension and flexion okay this is extension and this is flexion remember that extension and flexion is occurring in the same plane of the palm now one more moment is there for a uh, thumb that is opposition what is opposition opposition is actually a, a, a sort of a, a continuation of that flexion movement if this is flexion i can actually continue flexion to such an extent that the metacarpal will medially rotate and the thumb Uh, palm or surface will now face the palm or surface of other digits that is called opposition so this is abduction adduction extension flexion and this is opposition these are the movements of the thumb and it is unique and it is different from the movements of the other digits or uh, the general movements that we learn in anatomy thank you